So you're ready to buy a house. That is absolutely fantastic. We are here to help you. We're here to answer your questions. We're here to educate you so that you are empowered to make an amazing decision. Keith Campbell here with Keith and Sheila Realty Group, Power Bell PT Realty. So what's the very first thing you should do if you're thinking about buying a house? First and foremost, you need to decide what your budget is. Granted, when you reach out to a lender and be very careful with lenders, make sure you're not overpaying on loan fees or overpaying on your interest rate. But when you do, they're going to qualify you. And they're going to pre-approve you. Most of the time, the pre-approvals are quite a bit higher than what people want to spend. I would say 75% of the time. You need to know before you ever talk to a lender, look at your budget. If you're married, look at it with your spouse and say, okay, what can we realistically afford and feel comfortable with what our payment will be? And once you have that number, when you talk to the lender, you need to let them know, this is what we're looking at. This is what we're comfortable with. So let's just say for instance, your budget is $2,000 a month. There's a lot of factors that will affect whether you get to that $2,000 a month budget. The price of the house, the interest rate, your down payment, how good your realtor is at negotiating with the seller to get them to cover some things or reduce the price. There's all kinds of ways to get this done. This is where an experienced, knowledgeable, top producing agent or team can help you. So once you have your budget down, you talk to the lender, you get that pre-approval. You need to be thinking about where do I want to live? How far from work do I want to have to commute if you have a commute or your spouse? What kind of schools, even if you don't have school aged children, schools play a part because someday you're going to want to sell that property and schools will matter to the potential buyer. What are the amenities of the HOA? How much are the HOA dues? How restrictive is the HOA? These are things you want to think about. You want to think about what kind of neighborhood do I want to live in? Older neighborhoods tend to have bigger lots, wider streets, more space between the homes, mature trees. The negative is they're less energy efficient homes, generally speaking. A large majority of them are. Even when they've had new windows put in and they've had radiant barrier paint put on the underside of the decking and they've had all these improvements, they're still going to be less efficient because the wall insulation is not as good. Uh, and that's a big factor. Even if you increase the attic insulation and put new windows and doors in, you're still not going to be as efficient as a newer home. Those are the pluses and minuses of older pre-owned homes. Newer construction or new construction, they're very energy efficient. However, they're not as well built. The streets are narrower, a lot of street parking. It can be tight getting down the street, you know, when everybody's at home. There's not as much room between the lots, generally speaking, not in all situations, but most of them. You're gonna have higher HOA dues because you're gonna have better amenities. You're gonna have better pool. There might be multiple pools. There might be playgrounds, tennis courts. All, all that kind of stuff. So those are all things you need to take into consideration. Think about all those things, come up with a plan, hire a really good realtor who's experienced, knowledgeable, and sells a lot of properties. And the reason why it's important you deal with a realtor that sells a lot of properties, the more properties you sell as a realtor, having done this 11 years and been a home inspector 13 years before that, the more deals you do, the more you learn, the more experience you get, the better negotiator you are. You just know how to cross the T's and dot the I's better. It's just the fact of the matter. My first two years as a realtor, uh, while I had great intentions and had all that inspection knowledge, I did not have the negotiation contract knowledge. And make sure your realtor understands contracts, amendments, addendums, notices, it's important to you. And it could be very expensive for you if you make a mistake. So those are the two biggest things. Where do you wanna live? How old is the house that you're comfortable with? One story or two? Take into account all those things, neighborhood amenities, grocery store distance, you know, uh, restaurants, uh, things that, you, that are important to you. Think about all those things. We'll dig into even more buyer questions in another video. If you have any questions, if we can help you in any way, even if you're not in the San Antonio area market, we have great real estate partners all over the country, actually all over the world. So if you're in another market, you see this video and you want help, we'd love to help you. Reach out to us, call us or text us at 830-837-1071. 
You can email me at keithcampbellrealtor at gmail.com. Please go to our website. There's tons of information on there. Buying, selling, veterans, investing, really good resources, both printed and um, videos. And if you'd like one of our home buyer's guides, we'll be happy to sell it to you. Go to our website, click on buyer tab, and it'll say buyer home guide. Click on it, share some information, and we will get it to you ASAP. It's 30 pages of great information, things to consider when you're buying a house. And our website is keithandsheila.com. And there's a chat button on there if you want to communicate with us that way. Have an awesome and blessed day, and we'll talk to you real soon.